Welcome to the <coughs> welcome to the Daily Jing for Wednesday, February 17th. Here is the quote of the day. A cage went in search of a bird. Franz Kafka. How is school the cage that goes in search of the bird? Or the job, how is that the cage that goes in search of a bird? Hmm. Let's look at the schedule. Wednesday, we're still dealing with green, with the green discussion. Reflection imitation first draft is due on Friday or by Monday at 6 a.m. Let's go back to the notes here. So let's talk about myth for a moment. As you probably all recognize, myths are not true. Or at least they are not true in the strict sense that what is portrayed in a myth actually happened. But really, isn't reality a tad boring or perhaps at times too terrifying? See war, rape, famine, disease. Myth, on the other hand, is something we formulate to get us out of a tight spot. Say we are scared of thunder. If we can imagine a Greek god by the name of Zeus throwing thunderbolts, it eases our worry. Not us actually because we are beyond the Greek gods, but the ancient Greeks, although they didn't probably believe in Zeus wholeheartedly either. But the reason myths exist is that people making a myth need them to help with how everything got started, creation, so the people making the myth can get on with their business. We need to know where we've been in order to know where we're going. And the past is fuzzy, is a fuzzy place, and only becomes useful to the present if we can imagine ourselves somehow masters of it. Science does this for us today. In fact, science is one of the major myth-making apparatuses in modern culture. We imagine what we say we know. Darwin was doing that when he invented evolution. The myth of evolution substantiates a vision of biology, reality, but in the end it is only another creation story. It will be abandoned like the Greek myths when some new reality pops its head up and we reformulate its myth in order for us to create the future we want. More on this in Friday's Daily Jing. So the question of the day, what is the nature of myth-making? It's the telling of a lie to find the truth. Okay, thanks. Bye.